All right, you guys, this is Raw Detroit, and we're back with another one on today. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Don't miss an upload. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get into our draft talk. But before we get into our draft talk, we're just going to talk about what Raw Detroit is all about. Um, I just want to put this for the record. If you see prospects coming out, whether they may be um, 2023 or they may be prospects for the Lions, that's what Raw Detroit is all about. Prospects, prospects and more prospects. You know, you have a lot of Detroit Lions uh, YouTubers that create content for you. And all of us can't be the same. Some of us have to be different. And that's what makes us great. And that's what makes us unique is that all of us have our own flavor. All of us have our own style in the way that we want to be able to talk about this team in the Detroit Lions. So shout out to all of the Detroit Lions YouTubers that uh, make videos and content for the Detroit Lions on today. But we're going to get into the draft talk. We're going to and we're going to talk about ways that the Lions need to get better through this draft in 2022. Now, ultimately, the goal for the Detroit Lions is to get better. We know that, you know, we know that Dan Campbell wants to win football games. We know that uh, Brad Holmes wants to change the culture of the Detroit Lions. But how you do that is through the draft. Number one, being able to get the right players in here. Being able to get the guy that that you want out of this draft class. Now, there's going to be a lot of guys that, you know, we're going to disagree with that we should pick up. And this is I'm talking about from a fan standpoint. I'm not talking about the organization. I'm talking about all of us. We don't agree with every player. And that's fine. Everybody is not going to agree with uh, somebody's skill set. Everybody is not going to agree with uh, grabbing Malik Willis at number two. But then there's guys that say, yes, take Malik Willis at two. There's guys that say, no, don't take Cal Hamilton at two. You shouldn't draft a safety that high. There's so many different speculations and angles where you can come at this. But at the same time, what you do know is that the Detroit Lions need to grab playmakers out of this draft class. It doesn't matter if they decide not to say fences. If the Lions decide not to go out there a quarterback and um, pick him second overall, that's fine. That's cool. Because if they don't elect to do that, that means they have their eyes set on someone that they want. And maybe that's the pass rush. Maybe it's Kayvon Thibodeau. Maybe, maybe it's Aiden Hutchinson. Maybe it's the guy that's heating up the draft boards right now, Jermaine Johnson. Maybe it's uh, Boye from Minnesota. Uh, you don't know. It's so. Maybe it's David Ajabo. You don't know. We don't know. The pass rush class this season is deep. And you can get a pass rush guy, a great uh, defensive end in this draft class because this draft class is heavy with the talent at the defensive end position. So the biggest thing is like this. If you think Malik Willis is ultimately the guy that can transform this franchise, because let's let's face it, guys, it's going to take somebody special to be able to deal with Detroit and to be able to handle the culture of Detroit. You know, being able to come to a franchise that never wins. You know, uh, a bunch of fans that are divided and fight against each other. When the common goal and the common denominator in the room is to win football games. It doesn't matter how we get it done. We just want to win football games. And I think that every fan wants that. Every fan wants the opportunity to win football games in Detroit. Now, if the Lions decide to take Malik Willis, am I going to be mad about it? No. No, I'm not. Some, some other people may be mad about it, but I'm not going to be mad about it. If they decide to take Kayvon Thibodeau, will I be mad about it? No, I will not. If they decide to take Aiden Hutchinson, will I be mad about it? No, I will not. Because I think the Lions are going to do what's best for the Lions. If they feel that the uh, Malik Willis is the guy that's going to be the game changer in Detroit and they love that kid so much, they're going to take him. Malik, let me say this for the record, guys. Malik Willis will be a first round quarterback. He will be taken in the first round even if it's not by the Detroit Lions. If he happens to land in Pittsburgh, oh, well, so be it. Now you have Malik Willis and Na Najee Harris paired up together. That's a deadly combination. 
And then Washington, who needs a franchise quarterback, the Washington Commanders, they could take Malik Willis. Denver could take Malik Willis. Atlanta could take Malik Willis. Whoever is thinking about a quarterback that's not letting anyone else know that they're thinking about a quarterback could take that quarterback. So, no, I do not think that Malik Willis will fall all the way down to the last pick, 32. Now, if that happens to happen, then, hey, it is what it is. And if he's there and you feel like you could take this guy, then you have to take him. You have to do what you have to do when it comes to being able to get the player that's going to best represent um, your team. So Detroit Lions, we don't know what they're going to ultimately do. We have not a clue. We don't understand what they're going to do. And we're trying to figure out what will they do. We don't know. We all making our speculations and saying, OK, Kayvon Thibodeau or we're saying Aiden Hutchinson. Everybody has what they what they think that Detroit Lions should draft. But we don't know ultimately what's going to happen that day. Every time I've sometimes I've said that the Lions should grab this player, they, they grab the total opposite of what you think that they should draft. So as fans of the team, whatever the direction that the Lions decide to go in, we got to back it 100. We have to back this thing up. Because if Malik Willis is your quarterback, be happy and embrace it. If Kayvon Thibodeau is your defensive end, be happy and embrace it. If Aiden Hutchinson is your guy, be happy and embrace it. You have to embrace whatever is going on um, as far as with uh, as far as with the team that you are selecting. I mean, uh, not the team. I'm sorry about that, guys. The player that you're selecting. And I think that the Lions are going to do their homework. They're going to put up the big board and they're going to say, these are the guys that we like. These are the guys that we possibly can go out there with the number two pick. Now, if they decide to trade down and somebody wants to come up and they might want Malik Willis or they might want Kayvon Thibodeau or Aiden Hutchinson. And they're offering us uh, a couple picks. I'm taking it. If you're offering me two first round picks for to come up to number two, I'm taking it. Whether it be the Eagles, whoever got two picks in the first round, those are the teams that I really would like to talk to. Because that number two position, if you like somebody enough, you're going to come up. And we saw what San Francisco did last season. Nobody saw that coming. <laughs> Nobody saw that coming, man. San Francisco came up and jumped everybody and took Trey Lance. We didn't know who we were, who we, we didn't know who we were going to get. We knew that we had Panay Sewell on our mind because we knew that we needed that position, but we didn't know whether we were going to get Justin Fields. We didn't know if possibly possibly we would end up with a Trey Lance. But when the 49ers came up, you knew that they wasn't going to just draft anybody. They were coming up for the future. They came up for the future. And they got a young quarterback in Trey Lance. And that's what the San Francisco 49ers did. They came up. They surprised everybody. So if you're sold on a quarterback and you think that Malik Willis is that quarterback, you grab the quarterback. You grab him. If you think that Kayvon Thibodeau is the guy and he's going to be the face of the Detroit Lions uh, defense, you grab him. If you think that Aiden Hutchinson is the guy, you grab him. You grab the player that you think that is going to be able to be a face on the Detroit Lions going forth because out of this draft class, that's what you want to be able to do. So say for instance, if the Lions decide not to take the quarterback and they, uh, and they say, yeah, we still want a quarterback, but we're going to decide to take one later. Bingo. I got a quarterback for you. Skylar Thompson out of Kansas state. Now, many of you know that I put Skylar Thompson out there for everybody to be able to know who this kid is. And I see a lot of you commenting and saying, take Skylar Thompson in the later rounds. Now, Skylar Thompson has moved up to the ninth position of when it, when it comes to looking at the quarterbacks. And he is a guy that I would definitely take. One thing that I like about Skylar Thompson that a lot of people don't know, he played in a pro style offense. So he understands the concepts 
of being in a pro style offense because he played in that at Kansas State. So when it comes down to it, guys, if I have to take a quarterback later, I will. But I just think that the Detroit Lions need to come out of this thing with talent, period. Whether or not if I decide to take uh, Malik Willis or I decide to take our Skylar Thompson, and many of you may not know who Skylar Thompson is, and go do your homework and go look this uh, quarterback up because this kid is nice. I like his, his skill set. I like what he brings to the table. He's a dual threat quarterback. But he's not a guy that's just going to take off and all that type of stuff. He's going to sit there in the park in the pocket and try to uh, carve you up. I like that about him. I don't want a quarterback that's just running all the time. I don't want that. But I do want a quarterback that can extend plays with his legs. I think Detroit needs that. We need a player that will be able to be able to make plays in Detroit. We don't really have that that much. Jared Goff, yeah, he's he's good. He's okay. He's solid quarterback, but he doesn't make plays with his legs like that. Not that often anyway. So whatever Detroit decides to do, whether they decide to trade back, whether they decide to stay at the number two pick overall, we got to respect the game. The, the Detroit Lions are going to do what's best for the football team. All of us got our opinions on what the Lions should do. But at the end of the day, the Lions are going to pick who the Lions are going to pick. And they have all of these guys name on the big board on who they want. So if it's Aiden Hutchinson, it's Aiden Hutchinson. If it's Kayvon, it's Kayvon. If it's Malik, it's Malik. If it's Jermaine Johnson, whoever it is. So all right, you guys, this is Royal Detroit. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and I'll be back with another video. Peace. I'm out of here.